Hey everyone, this is Daniel and this is a continuation of my Power Apps Hidden Gem Series videos. Except for this one, I'm going to make things a little different. And as you can see, I'm going to actually be talking about the Power Virtual Agents. So just to be clear, this is not an introduction or any video like that. In fact, if you look at the description down there, I've got an introduction video for the Power Apps, uh, for the Power Virtual Agents. I've also got a PVA or Power Virtual Agents with the Power Automate. I've got both of those already done. This one is going to focus on those hidden gems which are already there for the Power Virtual Agents which are very useful but you don't immediately observe it. Therefore, I thought it was useful to put that in my hidden gem series. So just to kind of give you an overview, these are the six items that I'm going to talk about. One is how do you select your bot's environment? Then how do you also do you know, copying and pasting of all those phrases really fast with keyboard shortcuts, basically using Control C, Control V and Enter. Then also how you do a drag and connect. That's a really big one over there because I don't even know. I've seen a lot of people who've been asking me that question. Uh, so I think it's really important that I show you how to do that. Then the concept of how to track between topics. And then the hidden links specifically for the authoring and the flow. And then finally, session log. So these are the six things that I'll be talking about. And as always, enough with the talking. Let's jump into the demo. So as always, let's skip from this presentation and let's jump straight in. In fact, let me just move this out over here. Okay, so the first thing is very simple and that is to select your bot's environment. And that's that's kind of important, right? Because what I'm gonna do is I've logged into the Power Apps, I mean the uh, Power Virtual Agent over here, you know, smack, uh, right smack in the entrance of the PVA over here. And the first thing that I need to do is figure out um, I'm going to you know, create a new bot, uh, but then which um, environment do I want that bot to be put in? And that's you know sometimes an, a, a step which is missed by a lot of people. And so that's what I'm going to show you. Is the first hidden gem is when you come over here on the top right, you see that bot kind of icon over there. When you click on it, um, and if you click on new bot, this is all pretty simple, right? It says create a new bot. That's where you go ahead and give a name. But right down there, there's something called as more options. And over there, there's this hidden functionality to choose your bot's environment. Now, if your um, Power Apps has multiple environments, then you will actually see all those environments show up over here. And that's where you go ahead and select where your bot's environment can be over there as well. So it's, this is kind of a very important, and it's also hidden, which is why I wanted to show you that, uh, that that's where the environments are actually available. Uh, and so that is your first hidden gem tidbit of the day is select your bot's environment. And again, as a quick uh, up, you know, walkthrough, you click on the bot, which is called as a bots panel, you click on new bot over here, that's when you're giving your name, also click on more options, and that's where you get your bot's environment, all right? So that's the first one. Second one is to use the control C and the control V and enter to hit the, to enter phrases. So some of you might be saying, Daniel, what are you talking about? I completely get it. So let me walk you through that. Say that I'm going to go ahead and you know already create a, a bot, and that's you know I'm coming over here, and that's where the uh, a new bot's going to be created. Now, when I want to go ahead and add a new topic um, over here, I'm going to say you know for live demo, and for the sake of this example, say I already have some of my trigger phrases already available. What you can do, and this could, for me it's in a notepad, for you it could be an Excel spreadsheet. A lot of people that I've seen actually have it on their OneNote. Either places, you can actually do a lot of Control C and Control V. So you basically don't have to just keep this on the side and keep typing in. Like my, like my first one over here is, I need help. I write that in, then go ahead and click on Add. You you really don't have to do that. What you can do is you can come over here and you can do a lot of highlighting. So you can do highlight. I then do a Control C, and then I come over here. I do a Control V, and I hit Enter. That's basically how I'm able to go that fast. Because now all I have is do highlight it, control C, control V, enter. And then I can just keep going that fast over here, you know? So instead of um, you manually sitting and typing all the ones that you may have already pre thought of, um, and again, like I said, mentioned it probably in your OneNote, you can just do a lot of control C, control V, and um, 
you know, do that over here. So that's your second, uh, you know, tidbit or the hidden gem is you can use a lot of Control C, Control V, Enter to go ahead and put all those trigger faces really fast over there. All right. So the third one is to drag and connect. Again, I understand people must be asking, what are you talking about? So let me just show you what it is. So here's the scenario where I've already started, you know, uh, in my authoring canvas over here, and I'm already starting to build the process over here. Um, and what I'm trying to do is now, you know, I've gone through and added some condition and let me just go ahead and say, I'm going to show a message, you know, first message and I'm over here coming ahead and adding another message, you know, just for whatever reason, you know, second message. And, um, what I want to do is now kind of put in a, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and actually ask a question. Now this question applies to both of them. But what's been happening is I've always seen people in order to join these two, they are clicking on this and then they are adding something like ask a question or show a message. They show that first and then they're seeing this and then they go ahead and connect it. What I'm telling you is that when you are in this situation, if you see that plus one, just go ahead and click on it. Don't do anything. Don't go and click on any of these options because you already see the circle over there. When you see that circle or that dot, Take your mouse over it. The moment you hover over it, you see that it changes. Now, click on it. And once you've clicked on it, you can actually drag. And the moment you start dragging, you can see all the dot, all the circles are highlighted. And now you can go ahead and connect it. And that is basically how you do a drag and connect. I mean, it is literally that simple. And I agree, it's not very intuitive, but it is that simple. So you don't have to go and add another comment to do that, like I showed you. Just click on it, that plus bar with the circle, click on it. The moment you see the dot, that's where you can click and drag and done over there, right? That's basically, that's, that's simple over there. And that was your third one, which is the drag and connect. Now, the fourth one is track between topics. And for that, I'm going to actually take you to an example that I already have. Um, so let me jump over to that. Um, uh, yeah, this is a good one. So I come over here and in this scenario, I've actually got a couple of, uh, you know, topics already created and the, um, the authoring can actually jump back and forth the chatbot system. So on the top over here, something called as track between topics. Well, this topic literally means these topics over here. And it's very useful because what happens is sometimes you might actually put a question over here or a message, which is not tied to this topic at all. But now that you've turned that on, while you're doing this testing, it'll automatically jump to that next topic and the next topic shows up over here. So if I'm gonna say hi, that high is actually on a completely separate different you know topic altogether and this thing will actually go ahead and automatically jump to that topic so it's actually taking a while and it went ahead and you know jumped to another topic all the way see right there that topic is a completely separate one with its own trigger phrases and everything you would not have seen this if you did not have turned this you know toggle switch on but now that you've turned it on you know that hey this is actually coming from a completely separate topic over there and it went ahead and jumped in. Now the reason that is so important is for you to troubleshoot it, shoot, uh, troubleshooting, uh, troubleshooting for tweaking, um, troubleshooting too, but for tweaking, tweaking so that if you want to take your, um, you know, uh, building your chatbot system to the next level or you want to add more enhancements, it's very helpful for you to see where all this interaction is coming from which topics. And now that you've turned that on, you're able to see automatically uh, it jumping around from topics so you're able to you know keep track of all of that so kind of that makes sense over there is that if you never really understood what was the reason for that toggle switch over there um, this is it is it helps it automatically now jumps back and forth tracking this part of this conversation which topic it is coming from make sense good I'll go ahead and now jump to so that was the that was the fourth one is tracking the topics fifth one is the hidden links and there's actually two hidden links one of them is to do the actual authoring, which is coming to this place over here. And the second one is to jump into the flows, which is the Power Automate flows. All right, so I'm gonna come back now again to the topics area over here. And you can see that right here, I've got already a few topics, right? I've got some need some assistance, help now. But the moment I hover my mouse over that, you actually see two things show up. One is you see this icon over here and you see the analytics one, which is pretty cool. But this one right here is going to go straight to the authoring canvas. Now, say if you you know you did not know about this, or it wasn't available, to get to the authoring canvas of need some assistance, you would actually have to click on that. Then you got to come over here and then click on go to authoring canvas. You're actually sk skipping all of that altogether, and right in the topics area over there, the moment you hover on that topic, you will see the uh, authoring canvas place over there. And that actually goes ahead and jumps you straight 
over here. So let me give you an example. I'm in topics. And right here, need some assistance. The moment I hover on that, I see this icon which looks like a graph type of icon. I click on that, go through authoring, go to authoring canvas, and it directly takes me over there. It's a pretty sweet hidden gem already available over there for taking the link, but I wanted to kind of show you that. All right, so that's one thing. Let me show you the second thing, which is um, taking you directly to the flow. So I've got a really good topic for that. So I'm going to jump into that topic, and it's this one over here. So I'm going to again use that hidden gem, which is go to the authoring. And in the authoring session over there, there's actually a few steps that I've added, which is going ahead and kicking off flow. In fact, it's actually an action. So this section, as you can see, is the one which is going ahead and kicking off a flow. Now, I call it hidden. It's not really hidden. It's just very small. It's very little small. So that's why I want to go ahead and show you that. So I'm going to zoom in, and now you can see that there's this little icon over here. What this does is it, it does something really neat. And you're, you're going to understand why it is so cool, right? Because I'm going to click on that. Um, and even if you don't tab open, it automatically opens it. But watch what happens. It has opened up Power Automate for me, and it has directly gone ahead gone into that solution, found that flow tied to that authoring canvas and directly opened it. I know, I know, it's a huge thing it has did and I'm so glad that you guys know how to use it right now because if you did not, then what we have done is you would have actually, you know, just to tweak that, you would have first come over here, you would have logged into the Power Automate over there, flow, um, I'm logging in. Now, if some of you who are brand spanking you, you would actually try to go to my flows over there and says, oh, I can't find it. Wait a minute, it's not in flows, it's in solutions. I gotta go to solutions over here. Then I gotta find my solution and it's loading. So I gotta go find my solution. This is, yep, it's in this one, actually it's in right that one over here. Click on that solution. Then you can go ahead and find in that solution. Oh, it's this flow, so you gotta do that. It's a few click steps over there just to get to that. But thanks to that hidden gem that I just showed you, if you come over here, and if you go ahead and just find that hidden gem, which is right, then you click on it. It has already saved you those three clicks and directly gone ahead and opened this up just the way that I showed you over there, right? That's a very important hidden gem, which is those hidden links. And again, there was two of them. It was to automatically take you to the authoring and then uh, taking you into that um, and the Power Automate flow over there. All right, so I've already covered uh, five of them. I'm going to show you the last one, which is the session log. So what happens is in the session log, it actually has to do with the analytics. And this section of the analytics is very important because it also highlights a very important thing in the licensing. So once you, in, in your Power Automate, you click on the analytics over there, you come and you see all this really cool out of the box uh, reporting functionality. But what it has over here is something called as customer satisfaction. And when I click on customer satisfaction, um, you can actually go ahead um, and download it. You can actually go ahead and see over here. It's you know the last uh, seven days, uh, and in, in the session, in the sessions actually not you know, that's the customer satisfaction. In the sessions, I can go ahead and click on the uh, sessions to download, and then I click on update. You update that. It automatically creates a session for that one. Um, I'm downloading it, and I actually have two, so I'll skip the first one. And here it is now in this information it shows a very valuable information and that is the session outcome now this is very important for um, your um, um, billing because remember the billing says that for that monthly period it is a thousand chatting sessions that you have but what is a chat session right it could be your chat is actually on a page over there so if somebody just goes to the page is that counted as a session over there or if somebody comes in and you know starts typing in and you know walks away, um, is that also counted as a session? This um, uh, analytics is very important because it shows you a few things. It shows you resolved, abandoned, unengaged. So what happens is that over here, if it is, I mean, the the, the only licensing that you're actually charged with or you're given um, licensing, which just counts into that thousand one, is all of those which are either you know the resolved ones over there or somewhere in between a chat session it has been abandoned even that is counting as that one over there but unengaged does not count as your chat session over there so you could literally have a scenario like this where uh, you could have you know and, and as a great way to uh, demonstrate that is this power bi report over here is that in this report you can see that i've got over 
1,133 total number of runs over here. But all of those, in those over a thousand, which is definitely billable, right? Because you would think that, oh man, I've already had over a thousand sessions. I'm gonna get billed on that for a thousand. But technically only 162 of them were billable. And that's because majority of these were unengaged, which means somebody went to the chat place, they didn't really do anything. So that's a very important and a critical piece for you to understand is that when you go to your chatbot system over there and you go into the um, analytics piece over there, uh, analytics, and you can go on your sessions and you can pick and choose the date timeline over there. You hit update, you go ahead and download that, and then you should get something very similar. And I'll open up another one which has got more information. Um, you will actually open that up and specifically look at this column over here. It's the session outcomes. And over there, you can actually see how many were resolved, how many were escalated, abandoned, and the unengaged ones. The unengaged ones are the ones but you will not be billed for. And that's very important over there. So hopefully you understand that these were the six things that I talked about. And just to give you a quick overview, these were the six things we went ahead and selected, you know, showed you why it's so important that you understand where your environments are over there. We went ahead and I showed you the control C, control V to go ahead and add those uh, topic phrases over there. Drag and connect was an important one, how you can actually drag and connect in those, um, uh, you know, when you're making the chatbot logic over there. Tracking between topics, why is that important and how that helps you to tweak your chatbot logic over there. Hidden links, those are two over there, right? How you can go into the authoring, how you can go into the flow over there. And finally, the importance of a session log purely from a billing standpoint. It's any of them are un un unengaged, it's not counted as, as those thousand chats over there. So hopefully you are, you know, these six hidden gems are important to you. And as always, keep PBAing.